quarters in that game and then to take it into overtime. How do you describe how you're feeling right now? There's no answer to that. You can't articulate the emotion right now? It's just, just something like stuck like right here. Like. I mean, we got a lot of time to think about it. Definitely have a lot of time to think about it. But words can't put it into the feeling. It's undescribable. Is it frustrating to know that it's that another game like last year uh, to be so close and to have it end the way that it did? Definitely, 100%. But um, it's, it's a far, the next season is far away from now, but it's definitely going to make a stronger game. And it's definitely going to pay dividends next season. Playoffs and situations like that. We definitely put the league on notice. Um, just unfortunately, we came up short. Um, it's no way to describe it. Four catches, 36 yards for you today. What did they do differently against you, Mike? Uh, they, they, had, they tried to lead safety out. Guys, uh, three guys on me, especially third down. Was two guys that doubled. They were trying to take me out the game. Um, it's what it is. That's why I signed up for it. That's why I played. I always showed up on game day so I could be out there. And however, I got to add value if I'm taking away three guys or if I'm making a play against men or double, whatever. When the ball's in there, just make the play. Um, you know, so you always want to do more, but the defense is scheme to take you away. You kind of just have to keep, keep running. What was the message from coach following that loss? And did you guys came into this locker room and at some point start looking ahead to next season? Yeah, yeah. He said, you know, this, this, this one's going to be a tough one. To, uh, um, it's not much you can say. You guys were there. You guys watched it. It's all went down. It's unfortunate, but still young playing in this league. Um, excited for next season. Mike, when you Coach Payton talked to the NFL, they said they blew the call on two counts: pass interference and helmet to helmet. Yeah. What, what do you think? You're playing in a game of such huge magnitude. What do you? How do you digest that? Yeah, exactly. So I guess after they say that, what do we ask them? So they give us a rematch, can we play them again next Sunday, can we reset the clock with? Because we, we weren't playing this game that ended up like that. Prepared, um, we, it's all about preparation. We both have jobs. Um, we come out there, and you know, you're fishing, you got a job to do too. Because you got to do your job. So, I mean, it hurts. Like, we invested a lot into this, so it hurts, but I don't think they really care, so. Jermon said, you don't deserve this. The city doesn't deserve it. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that? 100%. 100%, but this city's always been tough. Um, always came back from adversity. It's just about the moment that we're staying in. We couldn't control it. That, that's the hard part, but as far as next year, we're going to come back, and we're going to come back revenge for sure. What did you see on the play? The, the no I saw exactly what you saw. Tom Patel ran in pass interference before the ball got down. Exactly what you saw. Where are we on the field? Right there, I watched the, the ref on the side act like he was going to pull his flag. And then I guess he kind of got intimidated by 60 running up on him, the other referee, and didn't pull it. I don't know. Like, it was almost like he was uh, he needed to be side language to throw the flag or something because he wasn't hearing it and his eyes weren't looking. So, I mean, oh, no. What was the range of emotions seeing what, what you think the call is going to be made and then it's now? <coughs> Did you feel like early on you could have been up big, you know, the first couple possessions in the red zone there? Man, we came in here to win that game. We came in to win this game. We go to the Super Bowl. That's why everybody in here, it looks like they left. We, gave, we were going somewhere. We got taken away from us. So, put yourself in my shoes and somebody can take it from you. How you can feel? 